and welcome back. I'm back on Microsoft PowerPoint and I'm now up to the design tab. So I'll give you the basics on how to use that. We'll start with the first option here where it's themes. So as I hover along, I'm not actually clicking on anything, you can see the themes change quickly. That way you can do a default one. Click the little arrow to the right here and you've got more themes that you can hover over. So I'm going to select a theme and I'm going to choose that theme which is Vapor Trail there. If I hold the left button, this is a shape I've added earlier and this is also a shape at the bottom here. So I hold the left button, I can drag that where I want. So I'll click back on themes. You can also browse the themes if you've got any and even save and create your own current theme. So that way you can create a template. Now to do that, click back out of there. You come to the next option which is called a variance. Now you can see it's come up already with variance of that theme. So I can change it. If I come down, I can actually change the colours if I want. If I click in there, I can also choose... Also fonts, I could change to... Arial and I can even change subtly change the effects. So if I click on to shape and select the option and select effects, it will just change that subtly for me. You can see them both. But it only gives you subtle changes and it tells you how much it's going to change with the arrows and circle and how subtle that will be applied. Also drop down menu, we have background styles. So if you want a different background, I can hover over there and maybe have that that's about perfect. So then when I'm happy with that I can go to a little arrow at the bottom there and select save current theme. That way you can have default themes that you can access whenever you want. So there's the themes and the variance option. Just remember now when you're using variance at the bottom of each option you've got customized color. So if I click on it you can even customize from the text and the hyperlinks to the graphics. So let me show you. So I've got text background dark one. So I'm going to make that white text background light 2, I'm going to make that red and you can see how this changes in real time to give you a sample of what it will look like. We've got a scent 1, so I'm going to make that a yellow one and you can see there a scent 1 and so on. And I can give that a name, my theme. I'll click reset or click save, so I'm going to select save. So now I've clicked two little arrows, I can now save the current theme Choose where I'm going to save it to. I should just save it in that default folder. I won't put it into another folder. And now I've got that extra theme that I can access whenever I want under custom. So that's a good way to organise and create different themes and templates. Also, drop down arrow fonts. You can customise a font that you want as well. And again, you can give that a name. So you've got default fonts for your headers and your body fonts. So you don't have to keep changing them. And background styles, you can format the background style quickly through this option here that gives you more than just background colour. You might choose a pattern or gradient fill and choose which type you want. So again, handy option. You can apply that to all. Next is your slide size. So you can have a standard 4.3 or widescreen 16.9. So I want to change that. And it tells you that you're scaling to a new slide size and would like to maximise the size of your content or scale it down to ensure it will fit on the new slide. So I could put ensure fit to make sure everything fits on that slide. Also you can go back to widescreen. Also if you can change to a size you want from width to height and also number of slides from. So I could change centimetres there and choose where I want portrait or landscape on my slides. Bear in mind you've got notes, handouts and outline as well. So when you actually export them as a handout in linear format, you can choose where you want that portrait or landscape. In fact, I'll show you that now. Go to the top left hand corner file and select export. And select create handouts. And select again create handouts. And now you can choose how you want your handouts to be exported. You can have notes below the slides if you require or blank lines above the slides. Or you might just want the actual linear text format in there and no graphics choice is yours. So I want to close that and that's your format background and you've got design ideas so if I click that it will try and give you design ideas but in this case there isn't any because I've created this from the variance and changing settings but let me use a template up here and then if there is any design ideas it will show you but in this case there isn't so always worth a look at give you a few ideas and that's how you use the design tab